So here we are in Excel, and I'm going to plot the data. So I'm going to plot the X coordinates in the A column and the Y or the P coordinates in the P column. So uh, we have here this uh, table list of percentages P of women in the state legislature during year X. So we have 1993, 19, oops, 1997, 2001, 2005, 2007. Interesting, it goes up by intervals of 4, and then it goes up only by intervals of 2. So then we have 20.5% is women, 21.6% is women, 22.4% is women, 22.7% is women, and 23.5% is women. So what we want to do is look at, uh, first we're going to plot this data. So I select two columns, as you see, just go uh, hold down the mouse and go like that. And then I'm going to say uh, insert. And then we will say under charts, we want to do a scatter plot. And I think we will just do this scatter plot here so you can kind of see the data. Looks pretty linear, although not perfectly linear. So uh, let me move this up so you can see the whole thing. Move this up so you can see. There we go. Hey, it's not moving up. Why aren't you moving up? OK. So now what we want to do is to see, we want to do a line of best fit. So a couple of different ways that you can do this, uh, especially if you're using a PC, you can right click, uh, or you can um, go to, uh, let's see, data, chart tools. Let's try chart tools. And then under layout, you see trend line. That's what we want is a trend line. So we're going to say linear trend line because we're working with linear functions. So I click that, and it shows me the linear function. But the problem with that is that it doesn't show you the um, algebraic expression. So let's go ahead and say more trend line options. And here's our linear, but we want to say uh, display the equation on the chart. We can also say display the R squared on the chart. Um, so you can see display is here and display R squared, which is uh, tells you the percentage of the data that's explained by the trend line. So now I'm going to close that up. And now you see that uh, here is the equation for the trend line, 0.1957x minus 369.44. And uh, the R squared is 0.9644, which means 96% of the data is explained uh, using this. So uh, now we are able to um, answer some questions. So find a linear function that models the data. We just did that. Estimate this percentage in 2003. Uh, and compare your estimate to the actual value of 22.4. All right, and then did your estimate involve interpolation or extrapolation? And use P to predict the year when this percentage could reach 25%. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is estimate the percentage in 2003. So we want to use this um, equation. And so I'll just put here uh, the estimate in 2003, and we will um, say this is going to be equal to, you put an equal sign because we're about to put in a function. So that is equal to 0.1957 times this value here, 2003. So I can click, uh, and it shows up here, um, minus... 369.44, and that is 22.5. And then it says, uh, compare the estimate with the actual value of 22.4. Did your estimate involve interpolation or extrapolation? Well, it uh, involved interpolation because it's within the bounds of the um, data. OK, so the next part of the question says, Use P to predict the year when this percentage could reach 25%. We uh, set the equation equal to 25, 
And when we solve for X, lo and behold, it turns out that in the year 2015.5, so about halfway through 2015, we should have 25% of women in state legislators. And just for fun, I simply typed in number of women in the state legislature, and I found this web page right at the top of the Google search, and it turns out that right now there's 24.3. So uh, as of 2015, we're a little bit under where we should be. Um, and I am making this uh, video in September, so it's more than halfway through 2015. Now that I see that the model was just a little bit of an over-prediction, I'm going to add 2015 to the model here. And we found out that it was that the percentage was 24.3. And so I am going to, uh, you can notice if I click on this, I get these little blue marks, which um, explain the data in the table here. So if I just stretch these out, just like pull them down one more, we can see that um, the model adjusts itself. And now I'm going to need a new trend line here. And so I'm going to click on this trend line and uh, go to layout again and analysis and trend line, more trend line options. Once again, click on um, display the equation chart for linear. And we have 0.1697. And so that you can see that um, 1697x minus 3.1, oh, sorry, 317. So the new um, estimate has a slightly lower slope. We went from 0.19 to 0.169. So uh, we're revising the uh, progress of women just a little bit. So the last part of this assignment is to come up with one more question that you might want to ask. And I figured it might be interesting to know, for example, how many state, uh, how many women there will be in, say, 2020. So again, that's going to be an extrapolation because we're going beyond uh, interpolating what the data is, just like we did it uh, in this case. But uh, instead of knowing the year, um, or uh, we would just put the year in for X right here and see what the percentage comes out to be. So going back to our spreadsheet here, I will put in the year 2015, uh, sorry, 2020. And then we're going to just say this is going to be equal to 0.1957 times this minus 369.44. So it should be 25.874, which is interesting. You know, you can see, even though it looks like quite a shift here, the uh, y-axis is actually very small. So in 2020, which is in five, four and a half years, we're, we're going to be at 25.874% or so. So hopefully uh, we will get there. And that's the end of this particular video.